The report focuses on the importance of edtech startups in Europe um, and particularly at how they can be nurtured and supported, um, how both schools um, and ministries of education and, and other interested parties can be kept aware of um, how the EdTech ecosystem is developing um, and the kind of service it, it's providing uh, and how they can be further supported in the future. Well, there are certainly challenges for the, the EdTech uh, companies themselves. Um, all the normal things that you have if you're starting up a new company or if you're a small company trying to grow. Um, when you're operating in education, there's a need to work with educators and to work in schools. Um, there's quite a challenge when it comes to working in schools. Um, clearly, schools and teachers are very, very busy um, doing the job of, of, of teaching our, our children. Um, and it's quite hard sometimes for them to find the time to get together with, with companies who are coming in with new projects that, and new products that they want to test. A major challenge which was identified was when startups get to the stage where they want to move into another country, even another European country, uh, because education systems across Europe are extremely different. And this is something that um, they very much appreciate uh, getting a kind of help and advice about uh, and just knowing where to go for advice on these matters. Um, the way in which one of the EdTech startup founders described it to me was she said, when we started operating in another country, we found that everything we thought was a fact was an assumption and that most of those assumptions were wrong. <laughs> The accelerator and incubator programs that work with startups are very good at providing um, business mentoring to, to new startup founders. Um, some of them found that the mentoring concerning education and educational systems and pedagogy um, were not quite as um, useful as some of the business mentoring. Um, and this is something which they felt could be improved on in future. Uh, we identified a need to expand and build upon the successes of some of the programmes that currently support edtech startups, uh, including test beds, incubators, accelerators, um, these sorts of organisations, and also a need to generally expand and strengthen the, the edtech community, um, improving uh, communication and sharing of best practice. The Empower Ed project, which is just starting, um, will contribute to, to some of this. And also initiatives like the uh, School Innovation Forum are very, very useful for bringing people together. Mm -hmm.